This is DJI's compact but insanely powerful all-new e-bike motor system. It weighs just 2.5 kilos and puts out up to an incredible 1,000 watts of peak power with 120 newton meters of peak torque and it's fully street legal. This is DJI's all-new e-bike brand called Amflow, an aggressive trail bike that houses all of DJI's new tech, like this fully OLED touchscreen display, a 600 watt hour battery, and its power to weight ratio is incredible. The full e-bike weighs only 19.2 kilos. <laughs> a 19.2 kilo, 120 newton meter, 1000 watt super light e-bike. DJI have also built an 800 watt hour battery and an entire suite of new tech to go with the bike to really put themselves on the map as a serious player in the e-bike motor market. So what a surprise I think for a lot of people. Loads of people know the DJI name, the DJI brand. Why are you going into <laughs> e-bikes, man? That's, that's like maybe, yep. bit, I don't think many people will be expecting it. Yeah, so if you first think about it, it's like drones, cameras, stabilizers for cameras, for cinema cameras, uh, why bikes, why e-bikes? But if you think about it a bit, it actually makes a lot of sense. So for, we're in this business for a long time, building drones, industry leading camera stabilizers. So we have all that tech. And if you think about it, uh, what a drone needs to fly, it's a brushless motor, it's an EC, a electronic speed controller, it's a battery. Of course, we have a lot of sensors in a drone and software, so that all works together. And if you think about an e-bike or an e-bike drive train, it's pretty much the same. You have a brushless motor, you have sensors, you have a battery with a battery management system. So it's pretty much the same components. And with all that knowledge and know-how we gather over all those years, uh, we now want to transfer this know-how to the bike industry. That's so cool. I guess you're right, because the drones you make, super compact mini drones, big commercial right. drones, all with differing batteries and motor systems. Right. So is, is this basically an upscale drone motor? Is the tech really similar? Yeah, so a lot of people, they, if they think about DJI drones, they only know, know the little ones, like the, the, the Mavics, the Minis, uh, maybe they also know the Phantoms, but actually uh, we have large drones for agriculture. Uh, we just released our fly car, which is a huge uh, drone for transporting goods. So it can lift up to 40 kilograms. Okay. And in fact, the motors that we use on our big drones, agriculture, industrial drones, they're even bigger than this motor. And you mentioned software and the con all of this is key yeah. to, I think, making a drive system have character. Exactly. Because it's it's not easy, but it's easy to draw, to to build the hardware. But the right. software is what brings everything together. That's right? a, a point that I think a lot of people don't think about initially when they think about e-bikes and drive trains for e-bikes. They just think, okay, it's a motor, it's a battery. Uh, you just you know push a button and it goes forward. Um, but actually, there's a lot of software involved and a lot of sensors involved. They have to sense your input and then accordingly control the output of the motor. So there's this way more complex that you think about it. You actually have to listen to the rider's input and then, you know, provide the right output. Um, and that's where a lot of software and sensors come in. Um, and the big magic about an e-bike system that feels good is the fine tuning of the motor output, the curves, you know, the torque, the overall power, and that, what you just said, gives the e-bike drive train and the bike itself the character and if it feels good or not. Let's talk about some of the stats that people will be familiar with. So power, newton meters, t tell me a bit about it. The cool thing is this compact lightweight unit is 105 newton meters. And we have a little boost mode that you already experienced where you can even set it to 120 newton meters. Um, and in the normal mode, it's up to 850 uh, watts. And in the boost mode, it's up to 1000 watts. Uh, you got this boost mode for 30 seconds, um, but yeah, you tried it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and you can just reactivate it if you want it again. We have uh, an 800 watt battery, 
uh, also have a 600 watt battery. So that's our 800 watt battery, uh, which sits in the down tube. And the cool thing is we use the latest battery technology. So we achieved a very slim and compact and also lightweight battery. This is 3.7 kilograms, 800 watts. With this battery technology, we were able to build a bike frame or, you know, others can because this system will be available for other manufacturers as well. This can be integrated in a very, very slim bike that basically looks like a, a lightweight, you know, e-bike. A couple of things just to maybe mention again. Yeah. 120 Newton meters. Right. And what's the weight? 2.5? Yes, around that. 2.5 to, yeah. It's got yeah. to be one of the most powerful motors yeah. Yeah. on the market. Yeah. So. It actually is. How and have you done that? <laughs> a lot of engineering went into that. A lot of iterations. Uh, we talked about it. So uh, yeah, we. So our goal was um, when we entered the market or we looked at the market, we thought, okay, you have those full power e-bikes. They have big batteries. They have. They deliver good power, but they, as I said, huge and clunky. And I was, you know, I personally love riding mountain bikes, but I was never into those bikes. I was like, no, no, I'm gonna ride my bio bike, my push bike, because those big ones, they're not biking anymore. There's more like a, a motorbike. But then those lightweight EMTBs came on the market, and they were quite cool. Um, but the biggest gripe and issue people had with those were was that the battery was quite small and limited. We were talking about. 340, 400 watts, and also the power of the motor was not quite delivering, you know? It was good for, you know, going uphill, but if you really wanted to go fast and have fun uphill, those, you know, 50 newton meters, they didn't really cut it, I guess. Um, so we thought, why just don't we combine both, make the best of both worlds and have something in the middle, you know, have uh, the aesthetics, um, the, the, the weight of a more like a light bike, but the power and especially the battery um, you know, battery power of a full EMTB. I think that's like the perfect combination of both. This is extremely powerful, so punchy and powerful, if you want it to be, in the boost mode. And it just is, is, is really, really rapid for yep. dispatching with climbs, but you can dial it down a bit and you can have it in low, lower mode to feel like a bit more of a natural pedal assist. But I yep. just want to come back to the battery because this is 800 watts. Correct. And you, what hours? And you said it's... Uh, 3.7. This is one of the most energy dense batteries it on is. the market then. Yeah. With the integrated battery management system, by the way, everything done by us. Yeah. So this is a complete package designed and built by DJI. Um, and that's the good thing, you know, it's everything is done by us. Of course, the, the cells itself are from like one of the big ones, but everything else, the motor, the, the battery management, everything else is done by DJI. So yeah. we don't have to rely on, on a lot of third party manufacturers here. So um, that's also something that makes the system very reliable. Usually people only buy one bike. You know, yeah. And if you have to make the decision between a, a lightweight bike and a full EMTB, yeah, um, it's very difficult. With this, I think you have both, and you can decide how you want to use it and ride it. You can use it as a lightweight bike, do long tours if you dial down the power a bit. But um, if you want like do long tours, you have the big battery. If you want to go fast uphill, you have the big battery and the power. Um, and you're, for gravity riding, what I mostly do, it's just a blast because you have the big battery, the power up, um, and it handles really well on the trails as well. Yeah. I think also weight wise, um, you know, if you go downhill, if you do gravity riding, some extra weight is not that bad, actually. It makes it more, you know, uh, in, the, in, the, in the corners and everything, it's actually helpful. I think this weight is also very, very good for, you know, gravity riding, trails, like yeah. that. And we should probably add, there's two battery sizes. This is the bigger one, Correct. 800, and there's a 600 watt hour. Yes. Yes. And obviously it's a bit lighter. Exactly. Well. So the, the 600 watt is 0 0.9 kilograms lighter. So if you're really going after weight, uh, you can get a bike built. So the Amflow bike will come in at 19.2 with a 600 watt battery. So, so this one here, 19.2. Yeah. Yeah. With a 600 watt battery. For 120 yeah. newton yeah. meter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, you have the choice. In the in our top model, you can go, you can opt for the, the 800 watt or you can opt for the 600 watt. And the motor itself is quite compact. I um, hope you don't, don't mind me sharing, but I tried a previous version. Mm -hmm. Um, some time ago, and it, th this has been refined quite a lot since then. Yeah. And you mentioned you're on 10 iterations of this motor to <laughs> yeah. get the final yeah. product that you're, you're happy with. That shows how dedicated we are with, you know, we just didn't want to enter the industry and do something that is as good as what's the current standard. We wanted to be better. We wanted to innovate, you know, 
we have the I in DJI stands for innovation. <laughs> so we wanted to do better. So we did iteration after iteration. Once we like really liked the product, we said, okay, that's the version we'll bring to the market. The whole drive unit's only held by two bolts. Like one goes in here, one goes in so here. It's almost like a through axle, is yeah, it? Yeah, okay. it's a through axle, exactly. Uh, super easy and quick to, to get the motor out. You just remove those two screws. Then you have the motor out with those breakout cables, which I also like, um, because then you have some, you know, uh, cable leeway, whatever you Got call it, to, to like not slide kind of it. Around the exactly, side all, you yeah. can easily slide out the battery uh, for maintenance and stuff. Um, and you don't have any, you know, sockets that we, we like bend the pins and, and break the sockets uh, like you have on um, other systems and also on our previous generation. So we learned from our earlier generations and changed the things that we saw that are not optimal uh, once we had this version now. We've got a uh a, a touch screen on here. It's raining, so with all yes, touch screens, maybe. That's the perfect <laughs> test. We ordered okay. that weather for you, you okay. know, for the British guys. <laughs> it is actually, it's an OLED display that we take from our action cam. Because first thing, when people um, are seeing this display, first they're like, wow, it's a touch screen on a bike. And like, we're 2024, that should be the standard, it shouldn't be. But then they're like, oh, but does it work in like mountain bike conditions, like dirt and wet? Dude, this is and working. then I'm like, yeah, it's, 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 it's the touch screen from our action cam. It's the exact same touch screen. So it is proven to work under rough conditions, you know, because action, is there any better proof? You know, you can use it with gloves, you can use it with, uh, with rain on it. So um, yeah, it works. Uh, and you can also slide up. Yeah, so there's uh, a lot of things uh, that you can do with it. Um, and it's, it's rough and tough, it has a light sensor in, so it also dims itself. Um, and the cool thing is this touch screen, maybe we'll come to it also, makes it possible to go without any controls on the handlebar. Moving on to the bike, the, the bike itself, the frame, the Geo, yeah. is, this a, is this a DJI bike with a different brand? And how's it, how's it being positioned? We created Amflow as like a separate brand, an amp, uh, entity, this is like Amflow. And um, we wanted our DJI drivetrain to be in a really good bike and we wanted to showcase it immediately. So it's basically an incubator brand uh, manufacturer um, that uses the latest DJI technology. We as DJI push this brand with our latest technology, but it is a separate brand and it will release new products that most likely will have always the latest DJI tech inside, the latest DJI drivetrains. This really sits very much in the middle to cover everything. Yeah. You know, with, the, with 160 in the front, 150 in the back, you, you can already ride pretty aggressively. You can use it in parks, you can do a lot of gravity stuff with it. Proven rear linkage, you know, yeah. there's a lot of, we did not reinvent the bike here. We just, here on the bike itself, we use traditional well-proven tech and geometry and I myself I really love riding this bike with pedals um, this will be slightly above 20 kilograms so 20.2 yeah. with, with the 800 with the 800 with the 600 it will be 19.2 so we talked about that we basically have a lot of data here so you can also um, connect a heart rate sensor like a Garmin to the bike, the, to the display. Yep. Um, so we have all that data, like the G-Force, the speed, your heart rate, all that stuff, all that good stuff. And if you connect maybe an action cam from DJI in the future, uh, you will be able to get all that data sent to the action cam. It will write it into the video metadata. And then if you post a video on Instagram, YouTube, wherever, you can have some nice overlays like the speed, the G-forces, um, the little mini map, all that kind of stuff. So that just showcases that this is a platform that is future proof and has a lot of cool things to offer in the future. This is our charger. Um, and the cool thing about that is uh, it has 12 amps and 504 watt. So it's basically more than doubles the industry standard Most at the moment. Most four amps. Four amps, yeah. some have six, we have 12. And that means you can charge the bike from zero to 75% in 1.5 hours. Okay. Which is That's insane. Quick. We have a long history of battery management systems, you know. Um, we made those first smart batteries, or one of the first uh, smart batteries for drones. So we know 
how to charge batteries. We even have an option to automatically discharge the battery. So if you leave this battery at 100%, it will automatically discharge to a level where it doesn't damage the cells anymore. We have a temperature sensor inside the battery, so if it's too cold, we will not unload the full power of that um, charger to always make sure we don't damage the cells. And the, we have the same charge cycle amount as the industry standard. So even with this, strong and, 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 and yeah very powerful charger there is no degradation um, other than the normal industry standard at the moment which is really cool i think it's a big benefit gotta say the bike looks so slimline and usually a bike with this kind of profile will be a lower power 50 newton meters maybe with a 300 watt battery but to uh, see this bike with this design have an 800 what our battery and a 120 newton meter at peak motor is absolutely incredible. A couple of points I've noticed. There's no noise. When back pedaling, there's no ratchet. It's completely silent. And the drive is applied almost instantly. As soon as you put the power down to the pedals, there's no float, there's no noise or ratchet or delay. It's applying pressure instantly to the rear drive. The torque is incredible. This is nuts, and I'm going to put it in a boost mode. <laughs> Almost power wheelies. <laughs> it just shouldn't be possible. How have they done this? How have they mowed a motor that's that small, but puts out that much power? Gives you a thousand watts, which basically blows most other e-bike motors. In fact, all street legal motors out of the water. It is incredible how they've done this. This is a really remarkable piece of tech. And it's really interesting to see how this evolves and the software evolves. But for now, this is one of the stars of the year. And I can't wait to test this more, the whole bike platform on my home trails. So if you want to be the first to see that, make sure you're subscribed because that video will be coming out real soon.